back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I filmed this makeup look for you all and it is a dramatic winged eyeliner with big lashes and a bold lip. Now, I originally was going to do just a purple lip, but then I decided to mix it up and do three different lip colors. So I did a purple lip, a nude lip and an orange lip. I am so sorry I have not posted a video in a few weeks and I know I say this a lot but seriously I am so sorry. Um, I had my last four weeks of school for the year and everything was just all over the place. I had so much work to do, I had so much freaking tests to do. Also I'm thinking of doing a collective or try on haul very soon so if you would like to see one of those please give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see a haul. I've been meaning to do one for a while but I'm not really sure if I want to do that or not. I mean, I do, but I'm not sure if that's what you guys want to see. But if you do, please give this video a big thumbs up because I would love to do a haul and share with you guys where I get my clothes. So I'm going to stop rambling on and let's jump on into the video and I hope you guys all enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my face to ensure my foundation and face makeup is going to stay put all day. And I'm using the Fix and Perfect Primer by Rimmel London. And then we're moving right onto foundation. So I'm using the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation by Urban Decay. And that is the longest name in the world. And I'm in the shade 5.0. So I just like to buff this into my skin using a Real Techniques buffing brush. Next, I'm going to be highlighting using highlighting using my face <laughs> yep highlighting my face using my ultimate holy grail product and this is the instant age rewind dark circle eraser in the shade light and i'm just applying this under my eyes on my forehead down my chin no on my chin <laughs> down my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow and blending that all out by Maybelline New York and this is in the shade 25 medium and I'm just popping this on any blemishes that I have and blending it out with my finger because I do want a flawless look and we've got to cover up those bad boys because they are not cute girlfriends I'm using the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder and as this is a translucent powder it is not going to add any colour to my face so it is going to let my highlight still stand out but set my whole foundation and concealer at the same time. Now I'm just going to be adding some definition into my face so I'm taking the Hula Benefit Bronzer and I'm just going to be contouring my cheekbones and also taking that onto my temples and then contouring my jawline and then last but not least I am contouring my nose to make it appear a lot slimmer and defined. is on I'm going to be moving on to my brows and I'm filling those in with the Essence eyebrow pencil in the shade 04 blonde now I am using a blonde eyebrow pencil just because I don't want my brows to be as dark today because I wasn't really feeling it and as you can see I was just busting out to a song <laughs> and um what was I about to say all right and can I just say for the price of this product it is so great like it's literally only two dollars now I'm just taking a light concealer and dotting that under my brows and then taking the detailer brush by Real Techniques and I love doing this because it does make my eyebrows look a lot more neater and defined and trust me it makes a huge difference and it just makes them appear a lot more nicer. Now 
Now I am just going to be going over my brows with a powder and as you all know I can't ever go wrong with doing this so I'm using the MUA Makeup Academy Pro Brow Ultimate Eye Rocket and using the lightest brown shade in that pod and just running it through my brows. And oh my god, it was getting so hot in my room, I was seriously about to pass out. Now moving on to our eyes, I'm going to be using the Chi Chi Nudes palette, and I absolutely love this palette. I'm just starting by taking the lightest shade in the palette, and I'm using that to highlight under my brow bone. Then taking a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to be taking the medium toned brown, and I'm just working that into the crease, and I wanted to keep the eyes pretty basic and natural, so this is the darkest shade I'm using on my lid and I feel like I said taking like 10,000 times just then. Then I just decided to have a little jam. Now I'm taking the lightest brown shade and it is almost like a nude shade and I'm just packing that all over my lid. Now going back to that shade I used to highlight my brow bone, I'm just going to be highlighting the inner corners of my tear dot. Now just taking a dark brown shade, I'm just going to be running that under my lash line just to make the look appear a bit more smoky and intense and whatnot. to liner I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner and I found a new obsession for this product it's seriously so great where has it been all my life so I'm just going to be creating a winged eyeliner using that Now we're going to give our lashes a couple coats of the Scandal Eyes Rocking Curves Mascara by Rimmel London and then we're going to apply some falsies. Now I literally haven't applied false lashes in about a year so I was quite impressed how fast and well I applied these. Yay! <laughs> Now just going back in with that mascara and I'm just applying a few coats to my lower lashes. Now for blush, I'm taking the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Ro Rose Deoro. And I'm not sure if you guys have noticed but I use these all the time because they are so amazing and the colours are so pigmented and beautiful. So I'm just applying that to my cheeks. Now I'm highlighting with the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm just going to be highlighting the high points of my face and so my cheeks, my nose and my cheekers bow. Now starting off with the purple lips, I'm taking the NYX lip liner in the shade 808 Deep Purple and I'm just going to be lining my lips to get a nice crisp line. And this is the point where it looks like a weird doll. Now I'm taking the Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick by Rimmel London in the shade 29 and just applying that all over my lips. And this is what the purple lip looks like. So now let's move on to the nude lip. Now I'm taking my favourite nude lipstick and this is the Astralis Colour Inject Lipstick in the colour Mambo or Mambo and I'm just applying that onto my lips and then going over with the Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in the shade Nude Eclipse just to give my lips a glossy finish and this is what the nude lip looks like. Now last but not least I'm taking the orange lipstick and this is the Rimmel London one in the shade 210 Coral in Gold. And I'm just, of course, applying that all over my lips. And this is what the orange lip looks like. I hope you guys all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know which shade lipstick you like the most in the comments below. 
I think that's all I've got to say and I love you guys and thank you so much for watching and until next time I will see you soon. Bye! I managed to get lipstick everywhere. Cut.